Hey, how's it going everybody? Lethal One here. Welcome back to my gaming channel. Welcome back to Oktoberfest. We last left off, we had our first boss fight, some big tyrant-like creature. And when I was saving the game, you guys didn't see this because as you can see, I came to the nearest save room and when I save, when she does her little monologue, she said that we have to go back to the basement. So I'm assuming that's what, I still gotta get used to the camera angles. Fourth video, still can't get used to it. But I believe that's what the scalpel was used for. It's used to probably cut the tarp that that old man was kind of guarding. At this point, I'm not really looking forward to heading back down to the basement. Basements are just creepy in general. And I think there's gonna be lots of surprises down there. Okay. I'm expecting, okay, wait a minute. That doll. Wait, is it looking at me? Look at the eyes. I could have sworn I might be crazy. That doll did not have any clothes on. When we first met that doll, I mean, it keeps moving around the room and then too, it's got clothes on now. I have no idea what those dolls mean. It's kind of weird. They give you weapons. Oh yeah, there is something in here. Okay, we gotta get down to the basement. I forgot how many doors, there's like three doors up here that I have, I haven't been in. I haven't had any access to. I'm gonna need some keys pronto. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure that scalpel would do some crazy damage. Okay, it's still pretty quiet down here. Nothing new so far. Generator room on the left. Yeah, the father's gone. Now they told me to come back to the basement. If I can't interact with this body, then I really don't know what the heck to do. And it doesn't look like I can interact with it. It said basement east. Is there a basement west? Where did it all go wrong? All right, let me check my map. All right, there is a basement west. I haven't been to the morgue. All right, I'm in the x-ray room. Let's use the map. Try to pinpoint. Okay, the morgue is really close. How did I miss that before? Was it this room right here? I believe this was locked though. This is gonna be harder than what I thought. There's another way to get down here to the basement. Oh, I know, I know where it is. I know exactly where it is. I just thought about it. There was a trap door that had a rope that I tried to burn with a lighter. We have a scalpel now, so we should be able to cut the rope, even though she could have probably just untied it. So overall, there's like, what, five, five more doors that I don't have access to yet. So this is where I believe I'm supposed to go. Yeah, she could have just, she could have just untied this. This might be stupid. I'm equipped in a shotgun. I know it's gonna be dark. You gotta be kidding me. It's pitch black in here. We're in the boiler room and this is how we're gonna have access to the morgue. Yeah, there is something in here. And I wish we had some electricity. TV always calms my nerves. All right, it doesn't seem operational. Where's the bad guy? Oh my goodness. I can't pinpoint him. Okay, it sounds like he... Oh, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Come on, man, where's the candles? Where's the candles? This ain't right. 
There's got to be a way to turn on. There's a generator in here somewhere. Oh my God, there's a bunch of... I'm not going to be able to see him. I'm just going to have to try to run. There's, there's some candles. How hurt am I? Okay, I'm not that bad. I'm just going to knock him down. As a matter of fact, I'm going to beat the crap out of this dude. Oh yeah, I love the stun effect. Might as well save some nails. There's somebody else in here? There is somebody else in here. Where is he though? Kind of sounds like he's he's at the bottom. I don't have to worry about him for now. Who put these bodies here? If I had to take a wild guess, I would say it's the same person that took your eye. Yeah, I see him. I see him now. Camera. Oh, it's one of him. Okay, I'm not worried about him too much. Long as I can see him. Should be all right. Hey, buddy. Come on over here. Follow me over here. Man, you fast. Can you come up here? Oh, he's smart. He's not coming up here. All right, well, you stay down there. And I'll try to figure this out. Seems to be some kind of machine over here. Yeah, these levers do something. I'm gonna leave it for now because there is a door here. Let's just hope it opens. I don't like that thing on my left. Kind of looks like the Transuit or Transmute Clan. Who is that and what is that noise? Somebody's making that rattling noise. Maybe they chained up somewhere. Okay. There's a body being taken away. Oh, this is creepy. What does that even mean? What an awful place to die. Any place is awful to die. I don't care if it's on a mattress. I mean, what am I missing? Shoot, this is the darkest hallway ever. Is there a battery down here? Somebody give me something. Okay, we got nails. What a lovely person. Nice pose and everything. Gas container, gas. Other looks like a flammable object. Well, I hope there's not a monster in here with me. This this is stupid. Thank you. Can I unlocked? I knew it. I knew it. Oh, there's some candles. Yeah. I might stand a chance now. No, I don't. What in the world? I'm not that far away from the... I'm like stuck. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Wow. All right, we're just gonna trust that I can get around with the morphine. Oh, I'm probably gonna die. Even after killing him, there's still a, a rattling sound. So it's not over yet. Is this where I came from? Ew. That's gross. My guts all in the toilet. Urinals. I recognize this. It fits in that door in the main hall. I was wondering if there was some morphine in the toilet or something. Okay. I knew it. Let's go ahead and use it. Yep, I knew that rattling sound. I knew something bad was going to happen. I can feel like the little tingly things going up my legs. There's another one in here, isn't it? I mean, of course there is. 
Winter Lake Hospital, 0606-1916, Dr. Rick Pelletier. Of her two twin babies, Miriam Morissette, in the process of delivery, gives birth to her first baby, Noah. But unfortunately, the other twin, Mutus Hale, passed away as soon as the umbilical cord was cut. At the moment, the causes of his untimely death are unknown. We hope the autopsy will give us some answers. What is it about this hospital that kills twins? I mean, maybe that's the point. They're killing the twins. They need their ability to be able to resurrect other people of their choosing. Yeah, there's a door here. Door is unlocked. How? I'm around the corner. Back in the main hall, huh? I was not expecting that. Not at all. But since I'm here, let's go ahead and place this object in the door. Or was I wrong? I did see that symbol down at the bottom. So I'll go back down and place it in one of these altars. At least I think that's what you're supposed to do. Nope, it doesn't fit. Wow. Back to the basement we go. I'm just gonna kill this guy. I don't have time for this. There's no dodging that. It's kinda hard to tell when he's gonna do it. Because you can't see the guy. You can only hear him. Awesome. All right, back to the lighter. I'm in danger from that one spit attack? All right, I'm highly upset. That is a symbol for a generator. So there's a generator somewhere. I don't think I should go down there. Am I gonna get electrocuted? Don't laugh if I get electrocuted. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, it's too dangerous. Okay guys, I have to run it around for about maybe 20 minutes. I came to a crazy idea. I'm thinking to myself, okay, there's electricity in the water. What if we turn off the, the generator? What if the generator is somehow powering that one cord that's in the water? So I gotta go all the way back over here and hit the generator. Oh, so we'll see me at the generator. Here we go, back out the generator room. There was no surprises. Everything is still the same as it was. I'll tell you what, this is gonna be a long shot. But we killed the power. And I'm gonna head back. Gotta get used to it being dark again. Kind of a long way back. I'll tell you what, running around this place for about 20, 30 minutes. Even though nothing really changed, there was no new enemies or anything like that. It was it was still nerve wracking. But they gave me some time to come up with these crazy ideas. If this doesn't work, my only other idea that I think would be to go back to that refrigerator and maybe freezing that that metal object I got and maybe it'll change form because it looks like it has like wheels or something on it. Like it looks like it has grooves that It'll transform if you do something to it. So that's my next theory. I just hope this one works. Let me see. Wow. Wow. It worked. This should turn off the dangerous electricity. Okay. Do I go all the way back and turn back on the generator? I think I will. So that'll turn off the dangerous electricity and I'm gonna go all the way back because I want some lights. Hey everybody, I'm back here. And I don't hear the electricity, so I think we did everything okay. I mean, it's still dark though. Anything over here in the corner? 
I wonder if this is like the Wild Burgers. Pretty sure it is. Fugitive patient. A patient with the initials HBP has disappeared. He was at the hospital recovering from a self-inflicted gunshot on his stomach to avoid jail time. The event happened just after a fifth body was discovered on his property. The police are continuing to search for the fugitive in the immediate area around the hospital. This is the third case where a rape and murder suspect has managed to escape these facilities. Until now, the police have been unable to locate any suspects who escaped on previous occasions. Sick, sick bastard. I hope I run into you. I'll put a hole in your ass. Okay, well, I should have checked that one room because there's like kind of too much going on on the other side. So let's just check this door right quick. Morgue. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. Okay, this is like the last place I want to be. Is that a fetus? Oh, there's somebody laying. Okay, no. Yep, it's twitching. Where's the candles? What is the lights, man? I turned the generator wrong. I bet you I got to do the ritual to get these fools up. Why would I want to do that? I don't know. I have no idea where I should go. I don't want to keep circling around here. Oh, yeah. I think you asked that question before. Whoa, there's somebody in here. What door is this? Does this lead back to the generator? All right. I kind of figured that because I've seen the symbols on the wall there. But where does this lead to? Oh, I bet you this goes back into the meeting room. Okay, we pretty much have all the shortcuts taken care of, I, I think. Now I just have to see what's down here. I could have sworn I heard somebody moving. Blood is seeping out of the door. I'm not going to open it. I don't blame you. God, maybe there's an item. No, it was just to scare me. Oh, look at this. That's weird. Oh, it's a secret path. Experiment room. I'm scared. I haven't been this scared in a long time. Where is he? Bind. I hate this so much. Ooh. A giant skeleton. Why is that skeleton so big, man? It's as long as I am. Where is he? He's downstairs. Okay. He's coming now. Since I auto locked, I'm just going to keep firing. Oh, it's a big one. Okay, let's 
go ahead and explore a little bit. Why does this look so suspicious? Something broke out of those tubes. I don't think I want to know what it is. Okay, we got more candles. Hey man, can you get up? Look, I'm doing a ritual for you. Get up. Ah, come on. Guess it doesn't work for everybody. What in the world? <gasps> what is this? This has got to be somebody special. The words have worn away. I can't read them. Okay, before we touch that. 9 July 1982. I have located my father's secret laboratories. They were hidden behind a secret passage in the morgue. 20 July 1982. The experiments are working. I was able to replicate Maria's condition by injecting her blood into a dying man from the hospital. I declared him dead on a medical report. No one will note his passing. He has begun to show the first symptoms. If everything goes as planned, I will be able to administer the first antidote before long. I ventured into the forest, searching for something, anything that could lead me to my little girls. But as usual, I found nothing. At dawn, I returned to the mansion and stood paralyzed in front of the door that was once theirs. I cannot find the strength inside of me to open it. I genuinely believe that if I open that door and I do not see them inside sleeping soundly, I will not be able to keep on living. 1 June 1987 Test number 25 showed promising results, but only for a moment. After five minutes, the subject dissolved into a pool of blood. Needless, I am not discouraged. After five years of experimentation, I consider this progress. The hell is he doing? What the hell is he trying to accomplish? I mean, I know he's trying to find a way to bring his daughters back. Maybe Maria. This guy sounds like a Rochi Maros. What the heck? You mean to tell me? I got that on my first try. What door opened though? I knew that looked suspicious. I don't know why I'm so happy to go down such a dark hallway though. Oh, I do not like this. Somebody died behind these bars a long time ago. God, it was a young child. Oh, this game is sick. I was trying to pick up that thing on the floor. It looks like a. Hmm. You mean to tell me I've come all this way and I need a key? Where am I going to get a key from? Experiment room. Oh, the meeting. I can actually go back to the meeting room now. I was going to say, where am I going to watch a VHS? All right, obviously we can't do anything there. So let's go to the VHS or the meeting room and pop this sucker in. Please do not get up, sir. Okay, we're going to head right up here. This should put us right in the room. At last, we get to actually use this. Where do I put it? Oh, it doesn't fit. Oh, maybe it fits now. Come on, game. Throw me a freaking bone here. I mean, am I? I was going to say, am I watching it or what? Don't tell me another freaking dimension portal. This game is crazy. That dude don't got a face. 
I'm just gonna equip the weapon. This body was undergoing a medical procedure in a place like this. And we do need the lighter. These are test tube babies. They broke out though. We're in some kind of weird flashback. What is this saying? Pinoise, roses, or jasmine flowers? I can never remember. I, oh, though I still feel the butterflies in my stomach, her cold skin under my cares, how she loved the poems I would whisper to her, the disappointment I felt when I had to let her go. It wasn't until much later that I was able to scream into the wind. So we got to finally see what that meant. 28 July 1967, the experiments keep failing. All the fetuses are mishapped. I have an idea that will allow us to obtain more test subjects and accelerate the process, but to do it, I will have to do something terrible and innocent lives will be lost. I have faith that God will give us the necessary strength to complete our mission, no matter the cost. Our goal is sacred. You sound like a madman. Wouldn't it be like really cool if I can, I pressed this last time. Okay. I just thought about something. So I was reading over this posies, rosies or jasmine flowers. I could never remember. Though I still feel the butterflies in my stomach. That's a clue. So let's just, let's just humor this for a second. Posies, roses, jasmine flowers. I could never. Oh, the first one is head. The first one is definitely head. Okay, so it's head. You could you can never think of the the posies. Then stomach, then hand, then screaming to the How was that not it? Head, stomach, hand, throat, heart, throat. <laughs> God, that was horrifying. All right, test two babies, don't break out yet. I guess, yeah, the calendar, we're in the past. Is that her? Oh no, she died in there. to her sister. Yeah, you recognize her, don't you? down here my grandfather and those men in suits locked me down in the cell please miss you have to help me get out of here of course i'll help stay calm okay everything will be all right i promise okay miss where are your parents my father is on a business trip he should be back in a couple of days and my mother was also captured by those men. I'm so sorry. I'll Chance get you out plan. of here. First, we need to find a way to open the door. What do you plan to do, miss? Those men in suits took the key with them, and I don't think it's a good idea that you get close to them. I'm sure there's a way to get the lock off without using the key. Please hurry. There isn't much time. We need to save Mother. We'll get you out. Just wait a little longer. Okay. Th this is made for metal. This has got to work. I just thought about it as she was talking. 
This has got to work. We got to. Yes. Will take days to have an effect. What? What have you done to the lock, miss? I poured some acid on it. The metal will eventually dissolve, but it will take some time. I only hope that the acid works fast. There's almost no candle left. You have to be patient, little one. Sooner or later, the lock will fall apart. For now, the best we can do is wait. Thank you, miss. What is your name, little one? I'm Anna. Anna Wildberger. I live here in the hospital with my parents and my sister. Have we met before? Your face seems familiar, but I'm sure we've never seen each other before. Do you work in the hospital? No, but I have this photograph. Are you one of these girls? What? Why do you have this photograph? I don't know, but I'm trying to figure it out. It was mailed to me a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? My father took that photo yesterday morning, just before he left for his trip. Why are you lying to me? I swear I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. What do you want from me? I just want to help you get out of here. I'm not talking to you anymore. That acid was probably another lie to fool me. You never wanted to help me get out. Anna, you have to listen to me. I need you to trust me. I am your friend. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Anna, listen to me. Up oh, the three dots. Oh my gosh, what is that in there? All right. Glad I came this way. I need to save it. I... I figured out the story. I just won't say anything. <laughs> okay. You know what? Let's just go. I, I was going to go ahead and end it here. But now I'm very curious. To see what's going to happen once I go. We know the little girl is going to get out. Because we melted the lock. Okay, Anna. Please. Please tell me you made it. Yep. She's gone. Well, we got the key and we got the part that goes to the key. It goes on the back. 15 November 1980, something very odd happened. A woman holding a lighter that brightened my prison appeared from the darkness. At first I was afraid, but her features reminded me of mother. She came close to me and told me that she would help me get out of here. Then she poured acid on the cell door lock. She showed me the picture that my father took of Emma and me a couple of days ago and told me that she had received it in the mail more than a week ago. After that, she left with the promise of returning. The acid worked. The woman was right. I just needed to wait. Luckily, the suited men have not arrived yet. I will find a place to hide until father returns from his trip. Where did you hide, Anna? Okay, it's time to get the heck up out of here now. I got a feeling that we're going to run into this Anna. And I believe Anna is her sister. Now, we didn't ran through here a few times. It wouldn't surprise me if something jumped out. Okay, I feel I feel like I'm safe. Okay, so this is a good time for me to go ahead and save it. Guys. This has been crazy. There's a lot of questions that have been answered. I still have a couple of things that I'm a little iffy about, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, share it with one of your friends. Hopefully they enjoy it and come back and see the finale, hopefully. Until next time, peace.